Welcome back everybody. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sly. Today I want to show you another backpack. This one's a camera backpack and it was kind of a Christmas present to myself. So Merry Christmas Sly. I haven't even really got to check it out yet and I haven't packed it out yet. So I want you to come along with me and we'll pack this thing out together. It is the K&F Concept large 25 liter camera backpack and I got it in the camo because I want it to be a hiking backpack. And there's some cool features about it, and I'll, I'll tell you why I got it. Stick around. We'll be right back. So you're probably asking right off the bat, Sly, do you need another camera backpack? And the answer would be no. But this is a hiking backpack, and it's a little bit bigger. Well, it's a lot bigger then my low pro which is my low pro is good for really long hikes because it's small this one would be good for an hour two hour hike somewhere that i might want to take like a telephoto lens because this thing has an amazing amount of room and it has some things i want to show you that make it great for a hiking backpack so the first thing you'll notice is it's kind of this camo color which I like. If I'm hiking through the woods you're obviously going to tell I have a backpack on but it'll kind of blend in with the surroundings a little bit more. Now the bag claims that it's weather resistant. It's not waterproof. The zippers, all the zippers, they're reverse coil. They're not aqua guard. All the zippers have the these where they interlock so you can put a lock on there if you want to and keep your laptop secure, keep your camera gear secure. It's a really good idea if you're out and about where you need that extra security. I like zippers that do that. It's got a headphone port on top. So if you wear your wired earbuds, you can run the cord through here. It's got a super, super nice padded handle. And one of the reasons I chose this backpack was because on the straps, it, it comes with load lifters already built in. And I really like that. And the back, this should be so breathable, yet have enough lumbar support to make it a really comfortable bag. There's about half an inch relief on this part. This was another reason I got this bag. It's got a removable waist strap. So if you've got the bag packed out really heavy, you want it to sit a little closer to your body, you can put the waist strap on. And if you don't have it packed out so much, you can always take this off, which I really like having that option. And there is a D-ring on both sides, so you can attach something to the waist strap, which, again, is a, a really nice added feature. The belt itself comes with these, keep, these elastic keepers, so you don't have dangly bits hanging down. On the front, you've got an access pocket here that is pretty much this whole panel, just this part. It doesn't include these, these outer wings. So you could definitely put a tablet or something in there. I would probably put the stuff out of my sling bag in here, like my wallet, car keys, business cards, etc., etc. We'll just go ahead and pack this out. First thing I know I want for sure is my first aid kit. That has to go in every backpack I take, regardless of if I'm hiking or if I'm just hanging around town. Okay, that's got a false bottom, folks. That only goes to here. So that's good to know. Business cards, check. I don't think we're going to get everything in this part of the bag. First aid kit and wallet. And it makes it a little, I don't know if you can tell, but it makes that a little poofy. So I'm not sure that's where that's going to go. So let's look inside this front compartment. And it opens about to here. As you can see, it's very nice that they added a rain cover. I guess that's why they, they say it's... Uh, waterproof because it's got a rain cover with it. This is really, really nicely padded. Really nice materials. It feels good, but it does not open all the way. Let's see if my, let's see if my laptop will fit. 13 inch MacBook Air. Look at that. That's like it was made for it. I'm pretty sure you couldn't get anything bigger in there though. If you had a 14 inch, I don't think it would fit. A wallet can go inside the admin pocket. Rain cover. For now, it's just going to sit up there. This is a, a pocket for a pen. We'll just stick a pen in there. And then it's got a really nice long pocket here 
Which the only thing I could... Oh, I could put my glasses there. That's a good spot for those. That looks like that's about all that's going to hold. Some of my other stuff may have to go other places. Now on the sides, it says this is supposed to be for a tripod. And it's got one on either side. So you could either put your tripod or a water bottle on either side. I think this is really where the water bottle is supposed to go. But since I usually carry two and I don't normally carry a tripod, we're going to see if the water bottles will fit. 24 ounce Contigo. It gets a little top heavy with all that stuff in the front. It's a very tight fit, but it does fit. Now, I probably would use the lash strap because it is a little bit tall, but it does fit. Yay! The Little Man's is a 20 ounce bottle and it fits no problem. And a standard water bottle would fit even better. Moving around to the back, we've already talked about the load lifters. The straps have D-rings so you can attach stuff to them. They also have the horizontal strapping where I like to put my microphone. The chest strap is kind of unique in that it's like a breakaway cat collar. It has two pieces of elastic built in so it stretches, but if you're not using it, it retracts a little bit. Now there is no keeper on the backpack straps themselves, so I'd probably have to add a piece of Velcro because I don't like having dangly straps. Wait till I show you guys how big this thing is. Now it clamshells open. And there is a compartment up here. This back panel is super padded. But it would be laying against your where your camera gear goes. And this piece right here doesn't have any padding. So I, I might put like a light jacket or something that was soft in here. But I don't think I'd put my laptop in here. So you open the back panel and you've got this mesh protective cover. I'm thinking it's so stuff doesn't fall out. If you guys know for sure what this is for, <laughs> let me know. It's kind of nice that they added it. Look how much room that thing has. This doesn't have side access. It doesn't have hidden pockets. It's just a ginormous camera bag. And it's really, really well padded. The sides are padded, the top's padded. I'm blown away by how much padding is in this bag. Now my little camera, this is an M6 Mark II, and it's not very big. And there is no way I would put it up here because I don't think I'd feel that it was secure right there. So I know that's where your camera's supposed to go. I'm going to put it right here in the middle. This bag is so deep that it'll sit sideways. And I know it's protected right there. Then I've got an 80 to 200 zoom with the adapter for the M camera. And we'll set it in right there. My action camera would fit just about anywhere. We'll just put him in there. Now I haven't moved any of these dividers. You can move them around however you need to. And I think up here for this bag, since it's got the nice orange around the middle, I'll use my orange tech pouch. That fits just perfect up there. In fact, I even have room to spare. So I've got the DJI microphone. I've got batteries for the action camera. I've got the Tascam microphone that I use as a backup. I've got my little tripod for the action camera. I'm going to move some... Okay, I'm going to put my uh, G7X Mark III right there. And put my DJI microphone right there. And I've still got room for two more, which we might take a light. That's the Yulonzi VL60, so it might be nice just to have a light, just in case. Guys, I've still got all this room, and I really don't know what to put in there. I think in this compartment, I would put everything that normally goes in my sling bag that I don't need quick access to. And then all my cords and chargers and everything are in the tech pouch. But I still have... A whole lot of room here and a whole lot of room here so I'm not sure I have it packed out like it should be but that's pretty much anything I would take with me so now that it's got all this weight in it let's see what it feels like on so there you have it it's kind of hard to see with this black shirt on because the straps and everything are black but that's what it looks like from the side from the back and it feels really really comfortable so a couple of things I did notice when I put the laptop in at first, it had a tendency to want to fall over. But when I got all my camera gear in, it stands up great all by itself. 
So that's that's another plus. This normally comes in at $163.99, and right now KF is running a sale for $75.99, so $76. Bucks. And if you need a hiking backpack, you really might consider looking at this. They don't sell this one on Amazon. I will leave a link to KF's webpage down below. So if you need a hiking backpack, you really might want to check this one out. I hope everyone has a wonderful and prosperous new year. We have a lot more bags coming up, so be sure and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of them. And we'll see you in the next video.